Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girlfriend Elungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So, if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below. And we'll be more than glad to do it. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. Mm -hmm. You can head there, subscribe, and enjoy our weekly content. Uh, you can also check out our podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse. A big shout out to the person that suggested this, and a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing everything that you guys do. We appreciate each one of you very much. So thank you. I hope you're doing all right, and may you stay blessed. So today I'm going to be reacting to two amazing prophecies which came true recently in 2019. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, I hope you are well. In this video, we will show you the prophecy about mobile phones and smart shoes. Abu Sayyid al-Khudri narrated that the Messenger of Allah, Muhammad wasallam, said, By the one in whose hand is my soul, the hour will not be established until predators speak to people and until the tip of a man's whip and the straps on his sandal shoe speak to him and his thigh informs him of what occurred with his family after he left subhanallah allahu akbar it was reported from abu said that the prophet muhammad sallallahu said the hour will not come until the time when a man will leave his home and his shoes or a whip or stick will tell what is happening to his family the talking shoe is one of the most amazing fulfillment of the prophecies of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, which has happened in this age. Allahu Akbar. This is yet another proof that we are living in the last age and the hour has already cast its shadow upon us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard us. Amen. This is something that was impossible to be conceived by the companions of Prophet Muhammad wasallam. Yet they preserved this statement for it came from a person who was the Prophet and the Messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They believed in him and so they preserved his statements. Indeed, it seemed so far-fetched in 10 years back and it continues to seem so strange if you do not know about it already. Nike innovated a talking shoe, what we can refer to as the first smart shoe in 2006. An article was published in the New York Times, these shoes are made for talking on 1st November 2006. Since then, Google and other brands have come up with their own talking shoes. The talking shoes literally talk to you and pass information and statistics to you in a digital voice. I'm here with Kate Packer, she's part of the talking shoe team. Is that right, is it a talking shoe? It's a talking actually shoe. actually calling it talking shoe. Yeah, exactly. All right. Nice work. Allahu Akbar. This was already prophesied 1400 years ago by Prophet Muhammad There is another prophecy in this hadith and this is about mobile phones. Prophet Muhammad said, The hour will not be established until his thigh informs him of what occurred with his family after he left home. Allahu Akbar. You already have guessed what this means. Subhanallah. We all know in today's world, most of the men keep their mobile phones in their front pocket of their jeans, exactly on the thighs, subhanallah. His thigh informs him of what occurred with his family after he left home, means a mobile phone in his front pocket of his jeans, Allahu Akbar. How could a man who lived 1400 years ago have known about smart shoes and mobile phones? Brothers and sisters, mobile phone is an amazing technology which has made life convenient and has opened many opportunities of success. But we shall make proper use of this technology 
and shall not waste our time in unproductive pursuits. Every technology can be a blessing or a curse, but it depends completely on how we use it. We shall always endorse the judicious use of mobile phones among us the youth so that we can build a responsible society in the future. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us deep understanding. Ameen. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum. I don't even understand why someone would want a talking show for what reason doesn't make sense to me but like uh, the guy said these were predicted and now they've come to be and um, does the Quran also confirm these or this is just based on whoever wrote wherever this information is coming from I'd love to believe that many of these Things that are happening now have been predicted in the past, but we choose not to read. We choose not to go out there and look for new information or feed our brains with new things that we don't know about. And once these come up, we're just like, oh, cool, we need to jump on the train for this because it's now trending or this or that, whatever happens. Otherwise, all I say, this is supposed to educate us. So if you learned about this, go back and read maybe the person that predicted i mean that wrote that this was predicted by prophet muhammad otherwise this was very interesting to watch and very very amazing a big shout out to the person that suggested this make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video